And off the reel when he's fighting. The drag may be too too light, I don't know. Well, it may be. He's kind of bending, kind of bending this way. Yes, the fish, the fish rarely gets himself off. It's usually something we do. So, was your hand on the reel? No, but he reared back on it. Well, if you change that tension very quickly, like a lot of times we have a tendency to let it get down and we got to bring it back, but our tendency is to bring it all the way back at one time. Can't do it. You got If you got to try to get it back, you got to raise it back slowly because think of how much pressure that puts on them. And so that probably just pulled him loose. I mean, really, these tiny little hooks, how much meat can that hold? You know, they, it can't hold much at all. So. I think it's a combination of pressure and uh, on the rocks a little bit. Well, if, yeah, if, you're, if you're stumbling on the rocks, that's going to happen too. So, well, you see, they're out there. You, now that you've got your technique down, we're catching fish. Okay, uh, we're fishing with Bill with that from Alabama. This is Bill's first, uh, he's done a lot of other fly fishing, but this is his first chance with the fly rig and we're teasing him about it. It's, being, it's awkward, it's an awkward thing to do in, until you catch on. So, you know, we've been working it for about an hour. We've, we've had some strikes and we've missed some strikes and we've just sort of backed up. We lightened everything up. We went to a, a small rig. We started working barely a rod's length away and boom catch that fish just like that. So, what do you think is different from when you first started fishing? It's like, it's obviously, it's, it's all, I keep saying it's all technique. Right, right. You've got to be very on top of every little detail of, of the, the float of the, the, yeah. the bait and then the bouncing. Very significant. Being in the right scene, the right depth. Making sure you're exactly. getting a bounce. Well, it's our job to make sure it bounces for you. Yeah. Now, when you fish by yourself, you have to adjust it, but we'll make sure it's bouncing properly, but you still have to mend it. And right. if it's not mended, we don't have much chance. That's the key. And because because this river gets a lot of pressure, if we were on some little mountain stream, anything, you, if you can sneak up on them and not spook them, anything you throw out there, they'll tr probably bite. But here, it's all technique. People want to know our secret spots. They want to know our secret flies. It's, it's none of that. It's, the, it's the, all about the technique. And as I, everybody's heard me say this before, no matter how much we like standing in cold water, if that thing's not bouncing, it's not men, and we're not fishing, we're just standing in cold water. Right. So. I appreciate it. Hey. Thank you. you. Hey, that, that was a nice fish. There, there are a lot of people in Alabama never go catch an 18 inch, 17, 18 inch brown trout. Now, like it says on the shampoo bottle, you rinse, you lather, and you repeat. Mm -hmm. So what you just did, do it again. That's right. And I'll bet you'll catch another fish. All right. All right. We've got Bill here from Alabama, and we just started fishing here this morning, and uh, we've been working on the bounce rig techniques. And with this big fat fish here in the net, it's obviously Bill's starting to catch on. It's probably an 18-inch brown here. We have we don't have our measuring yet, so I'm just sort of guessing he's. He might be more like 17, but this is a very nice fish. But uh, so we'll get a few, we'll get, some, we'll get some video of the fish here, and then we'll get some good pictures for Bill. You know, one thing we've been working with people is everybody wants a good fish picture, and it's like to get a really good fish picture, we have to hold the fish up next to your face. Now a lot of people are saying we're holding the fish too much, and it's like you shouldn't be holding the fish. But you know, if you've got wet hands, you've got very cold water. It's, it, this is not like a lot of people are they're in places where the trout are barely hanging on and maybe they shouldn't be taking pictures and, and spending that much time with them but if you do everything properly you can do it very quickly minimal effect of the fish and so the main way to hold this fish is as soon as you grab him he's got to fight you if you if you'll cradle that fish and lift him up he'll let you hold him for several minutes now, we don't need several minutes we just need a few seconds and in fact when we do this we're going to come up to your face You'll give us a big smile, and we're going to go back to, back to the net so the fish is only out of the water for a few seconds at a time. And if you drop him, you, we got this big old net here, and we'll just catch him again. All and right. so, but, uh, so, 
you know, you're going to look at Jim, you want to get the fish up here, but we want to see the whole fish, not just the fish's belly. So if the fish is flat, all we're going to see is his belly. So you're going to hold the fish up. So hold your hand up here, I'm going to show you. Now, if you're the fish, if I grab you like that, you're gone. If I, if I, if I just cradle you like this, he'll let you do that. And especially get two hands under him and cradle him and just get him up here to your face. Now you got to give us a good smile because we're catching fish and we're having fun. <laughs> so let's go ahead and give it a shot here. Get your hands good and wet. And just do it for a few seconds and then put him back. And we'll, you know, we'll do it a couple of times and we'll get the picture and then we'll let this guy go. Now just cradle him, raise him up. Go up to your face. Look at Jim and smile. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nothing wrong with that fish. Very good. All right, now put him back. Just cradle him like I've been cradling. Yep, and just, just put him in the current. There we go. There we go. Gone. Right there. Yeah, they're just a lot of times they just drop to the bottom. Now, what I notice, does it look like he's working hard to hold where he is? Mm -mm. No. That shows you that the bottom of the current is nowhere near as fast as the top of the water. Huh. And that's why we want to get that bounce rate slowed down, is to match that speed at the bottom of the water. So, tell us, this is your first experience with the bounce rig, right? Right. So, and it's awkward at first. It is. It's very There's awkward. There's a lot of technique involved to it. So, uh, I've been focusing on, you know, regular fly castings type of fly fishing, but I wanted to learn. Right. 